plenty of teams going to like your number two guy as well. Yeah. And he is? Trenton Simpson. Clemson, right? Trenton Simpson. This is is another guy. He's a specimen. A little taller than the last guy we just talked about at 6'2", you know. Looks taller on film, too. He's a little bit of a different build where you'd go like, you know, the last guy we talked about is a little bit more of a ball muscle. This guy, ball of muscle. This guy's a little bit more, you know, has a little bit of a length and, you know, speed look to him, uh, especially just as far as being linear that way. All right. And I think that's the first thing that jumps off, jumps off about him. I he's mean, like, the speed is like he's, he's super fast. Right. Yeah, it's real. We'll, we'll get into that. Yeah. But the length of him, he's, he's kind of a high tackler, too. And he comes with a lot of power right at the chest of these running backs. He definitely does. He de- he's not the perfect player here. But what he is, is there's there's two things, the speed and I think the size combination is what I really like more than anything, right? Okay, I would say he's a guy that I wish was a little bit more instinctive at times. Or there's times where you go, wait, there's the hole. Just go run through it and make the tackle. You got it. Don't worry about it. Just, you know, shoot your gun and go get the ball, right? There's some of that. There's no doubt about that. But you talk about sideline to sideline. I mean, he could be arguably the best in the draft in that. He might have that over the our guy we just talked about. All right. One-on-one tackler in space. I mean, I, I thought he was really good in those situations. And again, that's life for a linebacker a lot of times in the NFL too. Again, we just talked about it. Whether there's covering a back out of the backfield. Ooh, I got to run out in the edge. They ran a toss sweep. It's me and Christian McCaffrey one-on-one. I got to make a tackle here, right? That's part of what they got to do too, not only just taking on guards in the in the trash, right? But it just has a nice blend of everything. I really didn't see anything that I went, ooh, is a negative about, you know, uh, his game overall. I think that's the big thing I liked. Like I talked about, I wish there was a little bit more, you know, um, instinctive and maybe a little bit more of a recklessness that I like as far as you know what I I like he's physical but maybe not totally crazy like I like right Uh, he takes on box he can stand his ground he does throw his body around I wrote he throws it around more than some other guys we're going to talk about here later on I don't want to give in any inklings here but there's still I wish just a little bit more of that but either way, you can see here, just if you're watching on our YouTube page, and I mean, it, this, is, this is a specimen of a person we're talking about and has all the things that you need to be good in the NFL. And I think the things that aren't that good, you know, he gets off box pretty well, I think, are, again, are, are teachable, teachable things. He's young, and he just got to keep playing, and he's going to get better at the feel and what's needed at that position. Yeah, as you mentioned, he might be the best athlete of all the guys you're going to talk about here. A former five-star recruit, played running back and linebacker back in high school in Charlotte, North Carolina. We got him clocked at a 4-4-3. Yeah, right. 40, so he is fast, and Pro Football Focus says the ability is there, but the way Simpson sees the game isn't quite yet. He could be benefit from a simplified role out of the gate taking a look at his heptagon and we have weight in the 33rd percentile but everything else is above average and that 40 yard dash is in the 97th percentile yeah i mean he's an athlete but he's just he turns 22 in june so you know he is younger he is still learning the game whereas your number one guy henley he turns 24 in november yeah right right and and you know i think the, the the what you said there that's true you know what pff said i think that's a fair evaluation he doesn't have the natural ball hawking skills like the guy we just talked about right where the ball was snapped and it was just like he was going to get the ball right this guy maybe was a little bit like oh wait I gotta stay in my gap I gotta be worried and then there were some plays where he just went go get it it's there go don't worry about like staying in your gap still all of that you know but I still you know as a whole didn't have a problem with that you know, he sees the ball, even when he's taken on blocks, he knows where the ball is, all that. He's not, he's a little stiffer because of his taller, and he's wired that way to where he doesn't fight through the trash maybe the same way Dayon Henley did, right? Not only like fight through, you know what I mean, but just being able to kind of weave through like, oh, this guy almost got me, but I got lower, so I'm still here in a good position. Oh, wait, there's another guy. Let me kind of shuffle out of his way. Okay, here comes the running back. Let me make the tackle. You know, he's not as great in that area as even maybe some other guys that are behind him. But I'm more on to the, yeah, it's 6'2", it's 235, there's length, and I think he's a guy that's going to just – He's going to be 242 by the end of the, by the start of the season. These are again, these are growing 
young men. They haven't even filled out all the way yet. That's mm-hmm. you got to remember that too, to where that he's going to even be a bigger physical man as he goes forward here. And yeah, I just think between that and then hey, he's pretty good at getting off blocks and things like that. Um, it's uh, to me was the number two linebacker in this draft and the guy that yeah I was very comfortable with it I'm excited to see what he can do in the NFL a pretty effective blitzer when he was at Clemson 13 sacks in three seasons when he was there Uh, Brant Parshall has a question for you he goes I like Trenton Simpson as an athlete but he struggles to take on interior O linemen I think he might be a better fit at safety what is your view of Simpson at the next level yeah no I I think he's a linebacker all the way gain more weight yeah well gain, gain more weight you know who cares I mean 235 is plenty big for sure. NFL linebacker right now. If we went through some teams and some rosters, there's a lot of guys, that, a lot of teams that got 235, 228 right. at linebacker. That's not that crazy anymore. No, I'm, as opposed to you know cutting weight and trying to play – in the secondary, I mean, yeah, he's got the speed to play. He's got the something speed, like that, but. right? Right, but that's now you got to get into more, even a more in-depth coverage conversation and yeah. what you can do there, right? Right. And let me just say this: like, the NFL is a little different in college right now, right? The, the, everybody runs the spread. So the linemen are spread out too. It's very easy for linemen to get to the second level and do all that. And the NFL, there's going to be guys like, no, that's Fletcher Cox. We can't just like walk by him. We need two guys on him, right? There's Chris Jones there. You guys got to really block him. You can't just go, oh, we touched him and now we ran to the second level, right? It's different. There's going to be different alignments. He's going to have more talent around him. The game is not the same. You know, some of these plays where I look at it, you know, and you, you do. And again, that's it's a real thing as far as what he's talking about there, right? Uh, but, but, but yeah, I think it's the college game and the way they play as well. And then sometimes it's, yeah, four linemen or it's three linemen and he's the only linebacker in there, right? I mean, Clemson plays a lot of three down fronts and then they, somebody's in a spread and the other two linebackers are kind of like cheated outside wide to get out by the slot receivers and now he's there in the middle. And it's like, oh, well, I mean, whatever lineman wants to get up on him is going to be able to get up on him. There's a ton of space, right? right. So you got to take that into account, too. That's where the game is different, and you got to be able to look at that. It's certainly not the greatest thing he does, but it's I, – I specifically wrote down – you know, gets all blocks pretty well. Plays in the trash well, too. It's not just a space guy, right? I wanted to make that clear because I saw plenty to go, no, he's okay here. This is not the perfect thing in the world. But, you know, too, what I also want to say, and see, this is where the, the smaller athletic guy always gets this, like, conversation. And I want to go, I, I, I'm, we're going to talk about some bigger guys. I'm gonna t- they get blocked too, hmm. but we just don't talk about it because we see 240 or 245 and we go, oh, he's big enough, doesn't matter. And I want to go, no, I can show you games where he's blocked more than Trenton Simpson. He can't get off of it, right, because he's not fast enough or quick enough sometimes to even get around it. But I, I think it becomes a little too much of a talking point sometimes with these type of guys. Yo, 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 thanks for watching, homies. It's the off-season, but you know there's no off-season for us here at Unbutton. Me, Ahmed Farid, we're going to hit all the stories. So hit subscribe for us, okay? We got a ton coming up. My draft prospect rankings, my Sims Top 40 quarterback countdown, and videos of me and NFL QBs playing catch and talking about their development and mechanics. Again, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Peace out, homies. See you soon.